Good morning and hello. We are at a Canon Cinema event at TIFF, Toronto International Film Festival. I'm here with, uh, you know, my friends. This is Samantha. This is Saskia. This is Corey. I don't know if you guys know this, but Corrado is Italian for Corey. That's actually true. It's true. And Conrad and Corey are all the same name. And Cornelius. And Canon Cinema EOS is doing like a panel. Oh yay! All right. Doing doing like a panel thing. They have all kinds of crazy Canon gear here that we don't own. You know we have like the C300. They've got like a C300 and a 100 and a 500. What's that? C100. Where's the C500? C500 with a 30 to 105 cinema zoom. Jeepers. 1DC with an EF lens. Yeah. C100 with an EF lens. And the C300 with a cinema Okay, I want all of them. All of them? Well, I want them. I can't have them. But yeah. So I mean, you could. You just gotta drop a little bit of dough, right? <laughs> it's a little too much for me. All these videos were shot on the C300. Hey, I know that guy. Yeah, various cameras, front, bottom, uh, bottom right. Which camera was shot on? Uh, that one's the C300, but it'll it'll rotate different cameras. That's cool. Yeah. And we look at EOS as a complete system. So we see DSLR footage roll through here as well. But we right. have C100, 300, 500, and 1DC. That's cool. So this is a C300, just like what. We we have, but they have it hooked up to like this mega battery broadcast screen lens everything. That's like the biggest looking setup I've ever seen. And you can see it filming the room in front of us. Well, it's where's Antonio and Aaron? Right there. Fun guy. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. We'll be on in just a second. Thank you. Okay, so we're playing with the camera here. Um, it's a C300, which we already have, but it's got like fancy, fancy, fancy lenses on it. And if you look at the screen, it's black, right? Like it's like the lens caps on it. Keep looking. Yeah. No big deal. Just rolling the aperture with the lens. Oh, yeah. It's a big deal. It's really cool. We have like a button. Every so often you can hear like clicking and the light changes, which is the aperture. That's us changing the aperture because we just went outside or inside. Uh, here it's just on the lens. Big, smooth transition. <laughs> Okay, so here's what's going on. Today is Saturday, September 7th, which means tomorrow is Sunday, September 8th, which means tomorrow is exactly two months away from Buffer Festival, which is November 8th, 9th, and 10th. Now, I told you guys back in May that I was unhappy with my body, that I had hit over 200 pounds, that I had put a lot of weight on in my stomach, my stomach was showing it, I felt, I, I feel like my face, my cheeks were showing it a lot, and that I really wanted to lose weight. And on June 1st, I like took my pictures and started like a diet that I had come up with and started working out six days a week. And I did that all of June and all of July, and over June and July, I lost 20 pounds. And then VidCon came, and then there was a lot of traveling and being in LA and getting ready and coming here and getting set back up here and resetting up my life here, and then Blue Ant and launching Buffer Festival. And basically, I have been too busy to continue the uh, the health and fitness and taking care of myself that I had wanted to do. So I did two months on and lost 20 pounds, months and a week off, and I gained about five pounds. Not good, but I was also eating like crap. So there's two months tomorrow until Buffer Festival. So tomorrow I am going to start a diet and start working out and since before in LA, I was figuring all this stuff out for myself, just like Googling and looking at message boards. Well, my friend Jeb from Blue Ant, the guy who was uh, beside me in one of the vlogs, one of the days that I showed vlogging at Blue Ant, he is really into health and fitness. And so he has actually volunteered to help me go work out tomorrow. So him and I are gonna go work out tomorrow. So the diet and the working out starts tomorrow. So today, I'm going to keep eating like crap because I know that tomorrow is not going to be any fun. So I had to choose my last dinner. So I chose craft dinner. And I know I have cheap tastes, but boy, is it going to be delicious. So I actually add spaghetti sauce to my craft dinner. So it looks like this, which I think looks really delicious, to be honest. Mm. The last unhealthy meal. Well, I'm going to have chips later and pop and all kinds of crap the last unhealthy night. And it started with that bite. 
I rhymed. We just had some frozen yogurt, uh, and it was delicious. Look, it's the Caitlin. Caitlin's here. Is that, um, uh, <laughs> what? Is that Crazy Frog? No. That's what it sounded no, like. No, it's not Crazy Frog. <laughs> Maybe it's you don't even know. Motor. Apparently, I'm out of the loop. <laughs> what is this? What I'm is confused. happening? I don't know. Okay, good. You're gonna. Okay. One time when we were here, a bunch of kids decided to pull that out of the ground. So it might be slightly don't, don't. unstable. Oh, you could pull that out of the ground. It'll actually strong. come out of the ground. <laughs> it needs a little tag that says pull Jeez. in case of zombie apocalypse. There you go. And then what? What will happen if you pull it out? You just push the zombie. Oh, in that sense. Keep okay. That range. And then you swing it like a big pendulum and you can slice them with a stop sign. Right. Because it, you build up speed. Oh, okay. Like, so it's, a si it's like a scythe. It's like a scythe. Yeah. Yes. No yeah. Hey, hey. So I'm back from the wedding. Um, it took a while to get back because it was all the way in Trenton, which is very far northeast of Toronto. But I'm back now, and I'm really, really tired because it was a really great wedding, and there was a lot of dancing, and a lot of fun. It's the first time I've traveled overnight somewhere to go for a wedding, like the first time staying in a hotel. I'm, most of the weddings I've gone to are more local, like more in the Toronto-ish area. But for this one, um, my cousin Tanya was getting married and her fiance, or husband now, is from Montreal. So he had family traveling several hours to get to Trenton and Tanya had family traveling several hours to get to Trenton. So it was kind of like a like a meeting spot in between like halfway point. But yeah, it was really interesting meeting his side of the family. Um, they were all Quebecois, so anything that happened during the ceremony, it would be said in English and then someone would come up and say it again in French. So it was kind of like being on like a plane or um, public transit where everything's kind of repeated in French. It was very Canadian of us. I liked it a lot, but they were a lot of fun. And now I'm back in Hamilton at the Finch residence. There's a couple things I have to do here before I go back to the house, but I should be back soon. Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey Home is where the vlog is